Hello, welcome to another video. My name is Sam and we are going to talk about Tapforms 5 for iOS and Mac and actually what we're going to talk about is CouchDB. CouchDB is one of the three supported sync options for Tapforms 5. Uh, the other two options being the nearby sync, which is a peer-to-peer -peer sync, and the iCloud sync. I personally prefer CouchDB as I run a number of servers myself uh, and CouchDB is, is rock solid. It also gives me access to my TapForms data. Uh, getting this set up, we're gonna use a brand uh, clean, I should say, install of MacOS Mojave, I believe, for this box. This is my old uh, Mac Pro workhorse. So we're gonna put CouchDB on it. Uh, I just wanna show just how easy this can be. So we're going to download the Mac version of uh, the latest version of CouchDB. Hit download CouchDB. Need to allow that. And we've got that there. We're going to drag that over to the applications folder. Just to make things nice and easy. And then we're going to double click on Apache CouchDB. You want to give us a bit of a warning. We're going to need a password for admin. Let's be creative. We'll call it admin. Uh, we'll hit set password. And then we can do admin, admin. Uh, we're not going to change the password. It's kind of empty. Uh, let's go through configure a single node. Admin, admin. And hit configure node. Do we want to replicate data? I don't think we want to replicate data. Okay, let's set up our basic setup. And now we'll go over to TapForms 5. Here's my uh, CouchDB demo that I set up. I'm going to go over to TapForms. We're going to hit Preferences. I'm going to go over to Sync. Uh, and in this case, we need to use the IP address of our computer. Now, if you've got a static IP address, this is nice and easy. Uh, let's see, network. What is the IP address of this machine? 10.0.1.7. Creative, 5.84, admin, admin. We're gonna tick auto sync, because that automatically means that our changes are pushed and pulled without issues. And we hit log sign in and we're done. Uh, obviously this works best if you've got a static IP address configured. Uh, I do for this box, uh, DHCP with a manual address on my network. Uh, and apparently my Wi-Fi also uses the same, uh, setup, DHCP with manual address. Uh, one of the really cool things about MacOS, uh, and it's, it goes back a lot of versions is that you can actually use the same IP address on two different interfaces. Uh, and MacOS should automatically load balance between the two of them. Uh, so in this case, you can see both the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet are actively connected uh, and they share the same IP address. So uh, regardless of which interface I'm connected to, it will always work. Uh, so we'll, we can go back to CouchDB and we can see that we've got our database. There's currently no documents inside the database. Uh, but there's also no forms. So let's just create a form. My first form. Uh, we'll rename the field to be my first field. And this can be my first record. Hit enter and save on that. Let's refresh this page. Uh, we can see now that TapForms has synced a bunch of data to our CouchDB server. Uh, we've got the field that we created, uh, my first field. That should be a friendly name down here somewhere. There it is, name my first field. Uh, we can see that there's a form, which is our my first form. Oops. See that there. Uh, and you can see the name of this is Bended Tower. The the uh, support at the top bended at some point in its life. So I've got named bended tower. Um, we've got the image that is there and actually view the icon. See the tap forms icon there. And 
then we also look at our record. Uh, we've got a bunch of metadata and then my first record. And that's it. That's how to create uh, CouchDB running on your network. Uh, due to the security requirements for MacOS, uh, generally you're going to need to use IP address to connect. That does mean if you're off your network uh, that sync won't work. But if you have a look at the TapForms manual, there is some instructions on uh, how to create various uh, items, including an SSL certificate that should get you up and running uh, pretty well. But on your local network, you don't really need uh, you don't need SSL generally. Should be pretty safe, uh, and that's how you can get CouchDB networking on your on your local network just with the Mac that you have on most of the time, and that'll allow you to sync between multiple TapForms devices. Uh, one quick hack that I suggest is whenever you create a brand new uh, TapForms document that you do in fact sync it with iCloud. Uh, and the reason for that is when you enable iCloud sync, it creates a placeholder in iCloud that then shows up on all of your devices. You can download that placeholder from iCloud uh, and then disable iCloud sync once you've done that. Uh, and then you can go over to CouchDB and use CouchDB. That means that you don't have to use the send document to transfer the data. You can actually just have the sync system automatically replicate the data to catch it up from empty. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover today. This is a nice, quick and easy one to show just how easy it can be to get uh, CouchDB up and running. Uh, make sure you've got a Mac with a static IP address running on your network. Uh, and then you can have all of your devices come in and sync uh, really snappily, really quickly, faster than uh, iCloud for sure, uh, comparable speed to nearby sync, but with the advantage that because it's set up as a server, uh, and make sure that it's always open and running, and then you've got CouchDB running. Uh, if this video was helpful for you, uh, click the like button, leave a comment. Uh, if it didn't help you, you know, hit thumbs down, let me know what, what, what you didn't like. Uh, if these videos are useful to you, hit subscribe so you can get more of them recommended to you. Uh, and if you want, click that bell to make sure that you get a notification each time we do a post. And happy tap formsing.